I'm gonna wash my hair today and I thought well maybe I should make a quick video about these loose-ish waves or um, a braid out as it's technically known um, yeah cuz I got a lot of compliments um, on it over the last week or so that I've been wearing it and uh, I tried it out because I wanted to um, get as close as possible to the style that I used to love wearing when my hair was relaxed and past my shoulders, which I'll show you guys. Yeah, so obviously getting that exact look is going to be hard because my hair has its own kinks and curls that it's working with. You know, my curls aren't as loose, so they wouldn't produce that kind of wave. Anyway. So what I did, I tried out a couple of different things um, on my braid out to get it, you know, the way that it is. And it's looked different over the last week depending on what I use. And I'll show pictures um, for each product. So, good friend of mine, Loreen, who, by the way, is one of my co-partners along with Rachel in organizing the Birmingham, UK um, natural hair meetup which is on May 7th and if you have not purchased your tickets yet see the info box for more information actually I might just put a link in the video um, but look for that um, it's gonna be fantastic I can't wait to meet um, all my West Midlands and you know just English in general wherever you're coming from come along you're welcome um, but anyway so a good friend of mine gave me um, some Miss Jessie's Curly Pudding to try because I said that I want to try it. And it's kind of expensive, but she got a, a BOGO on it. So um, she let me try that out. So generous of her. Um, and I'm not going to do a full review on this right now because uh, I want to save that for uh, a twist out that I did. And I got some phenomenal results. That was kind of Oprah-ish. Anyway, I tried to use this on lightly blown out hair. I had to blow out my hair. I do not use a comb attachment when I do that. I use a Demon brush. I take a Demon brush and I brush it down towards the end and hold on to it and then use the blow dryer on a low heat setting to um, dry it out and stretch it just a little bit. Anyway, on lightly blown out hair, I use a combination of this curly pudding and some of my whipped shea butter and this was my first day result. Shiny, beautiful, bouncy, full. I was loving it and I typically do like five or six braids on each side of my on each side of my head. And I just, all I did was take a chunk like a like this, smooth the mixture of shea butter and curly pudding down my hair, and then I braided. And you have to just make sure the braids are tight. Obviously, you know, you'd want to smooth out your hair. Make sure they're really, really... And when I mean tight, I don't mean that you're pulling at your scalp, actually, you're not. You're making sure that each link that, this might be looking messy, you're pulling it up against the other so that they get tightly locked together to produce as tight a wave as possible. Sorry for the staccato thinking. Apparently, I can't talk and braid at the same time. So, you get the idea, right? And then, I usually use a little bit of avocado oil when I take them out, just to make sure that I don't get them too stringy or anything like that. I rebraided again without doing anything to my hair, and these were the results. Um, fluffier, had a lot of volume, but not that much definition. 
Then I went and tried my standby that I love so much, um, and it's the Shea Moisture um, Curl Enhancing Smoothie. On wet hair, this will give you major, major shrinkage. At least it did for me. And I remember Mop Top Maven said the same thing when she tried it. It gives you banging defined results. Yesterday, this was even more defined, and I was getting compliments like crazy. It looked amazing. Um, and all I did was I, I spritzed my hair a little bit with um, my spray bottle mix. Well, winter spray bottle mix. I spritzed my hair a little bit with that just to make it damp. It's not soaking wet. And then I just used the curl enhancing <laughs> smoothie. Um, put the, Spread that down my hair. I did not comb it again. I did not brush it again. I just smoothed it down. And then I you know, started braiding it. These are the results from yesterday. Looked really good. Um, and this is today after I woke up and with no rebraiding. I'm really happy with the stretch. I'm really happy with the curl definition. And I'm really happy with the body. So I'm psyched about it. Um, definitely give it a try. Let me know if you've tried this combination for a fluffy braid out. Um, yeah. Okay. And if you're in England and you are near the West Midlands or you can get here on by train, by car, by foot, make sure that you are here on May 7th or 7th of May, as they like to say over here, for <laughs> the Natural Hair Meetup. I'm really excited. I can't wait. Bye.